So I got involved with this data set, uh, which is from the Army Corps of Engineers. And it's uh, back at when Hurricane Florence occurred. And it shows um, uh, flood, flood depth. Uh, that, and uh, the Army Corps of Engineers modeled this based on variables like precipitation and river flow. And uh, they were primarily put it out there for uh, or people involved with um, you know, emergency relief uh, to give them some information about uh, where they could drive and not drive. Um, and so uh, colors are different flood areas. You have the light green, which is you know generally below uh, like uh, five feet or so, and while the you know, going up to the black, which is, uh, you know, most likely well over 10 feet. Um, so I, I saw this and said, well, this is really good data set that's worth trying to do more. And I uh, had been working with uh, parcel, property parcel data a lot, so I decided to make a um, subset of the data that I got. I, uh, managed to get the data for Cumberland County. And I, uh, um, the data was originally a pixel format image, uh, GeoTIFF. So I vectorized the data and that allowed me to use it in post-GIS and, um, and relate it to um, the um, property parcel data. And uh, so what I have here is a map showing, um, mapping the oops, property parcels and the buildings to this data. And so it, and I also have uh, extracted like actual flooded areas within parcels. So you can click on a parcel and get its information, like the value of the parcel, things like that, and as well as with uh, clicking on buildings. This was primarily just to kind of show people. Uh, I want to try to take this and uh, extend it for the entire southeast region. So it would not just be for Cumberland County. And then um, potentially do more with it after that, where uh, you know, one idea is to look at the FEMA uh, applications for um, relief and to um, compare it to flooded areas uh, and flooded properties and um, see what type of relations there are there. Uh, the FEMA has uh, this data that uh, for each individual who's applied for relief, it tells whether they're, uh, they own the property, whether they're, it's, you know, well, it's residential, the value of the property, uh, even has some flood information. Uh, if they've been um, uh, actually uh, an appraiser, if an appraiser has come or not, and whether they've been accepted for the program and how much money um, they've received. So that's potentially something that uh, I think it would be really interesting to um, uh, compare what FEMA has relative to what the model showed in the flooding. Uh, but there's also uh, a lot of other potentials. I'm currently looking at uh, some form of geographic regression analysis uh, and looking at the different uh, variables that I have in the parcel data and building data along with um, the flood depth information from the, the uh, flood map. Uh, and then also there's a comparison that you can make to um, the existing flood map. Outside of the 500-year flood zone that was flooded, 
And also, as far as FEMA and flood insurance, the way that works is if you're within the 100-year flood zone, you're, you have to buy flood insurance. But outside of the 100-year flood zone, uh, you don't. So obviously, a lot of people have been flooded that uh, didn't have insurance. That's another area to look at. So um, looking for suggestions, uh, again, also especially kind of resources as far as being able to get uh, the full data set up, the full map of entire Southeast North Carolina. And uh, so I welcome any uh, suggestions. So are you looking for help with mapping or getting? Um, it, yeah, it, um, definitely. With uh, getting the full data set up, that would be something that would require a lot of additional work. So is the Heroku app something on, on your Heroku account? Yeah, right now it's uh, the, um, the actual front end of the software is on Heroku. And I also have a, um, uh, a, a, a tile stash, a thing called tile stash, which is a Python um, library that allows you to serve uh, map tiles. And that's on Heroku, but then I uh, have seeded a, uh, um, uh, I have a Wasabi account, which is a hard drive or a storage account that um, I've uh, basically generated all the data beforehand. So I have different sources uh, of the application, um, and um, it would be nice to, the, the, those have limited resources because they're largely free accounts and everything, so it would be nice to put it in a s system that is a little more stable, I guess, uh, and also um, the sizes of files, um, you know, I could do it on my laptop with a um, with the county data, but if I get the entire uh, s southeast part of North Carolina, I don't think I would be able to do it. So additional computing capability, uh, storage capability, and potential serving capability. So is any of this up on GitHub that people can? Yeah, I have a, a GitHub account. Um, so how would you want to work? I mean, because I think it might be interesting to see a similar thing where people might be able to go out and um, take on their, you know, their county. Like I might do Johnson County, something like that. Let's see. send me an email uh, or a request through the repository. Mm -hmm. um, and the trick would be, with that, I guess the one step that needs to be taken is to get the data from the other counties or get the entire data set because it's actually, um, you know, the, the person I got the data set from subsetted it for Cumberland County, but the actual data is grouped by um, uh, um, watersheds. So you would have it for the entire Cape Fear River, News. Noose, and things like that. So that would, and that's probably the most urgent thing to do is actually re get in contact with uh, people I know again and get the data over and then have kind of a, um, have the kind of the resources to be able to um, process in a way where we can load it into a, a, a database. Uh, that potentially could be done on the cloud service, but uh, sometimes those are problematic with large data sets. Like, you know, you would have to actually have a uh, pay, a, pay a count or something like that. Okay. Thank you. All right.